in church. Um, the butterflies have to fly information right now because, like Kemi just said, this is like a precursor to what's going to happen in heaven. And I think we started too late, but it's never too late to get it right. Today we are different faces, but we are the church. And I want to let you know that heaven is rejoicing at what we're doing this evening. So again, put your hands together for yourselves. I pray that you're blessed by these words. It's titled, I and We. Bind us together in love with cords that cannot be broken. Those were the words that were spoken. In church this morning, those were the words that we sang. Hands lifted, hearts lifted. I, you know, who am I kidding? I came to church today because my heart was weak. I came to church today because my father's face I came to seek. Maybe I'll get a word from him that will set me on my week and make everything that's been looking so bleak have meaning. Because you see, everything around me has been so foggy and I'm so involved in myself that I walked right through the man that told me, Hi, don't blame me. Because like you, even though you don't say it, I know you're going through a lot of things. So all I want to do right now is just say, God, I need a breakthrough. So I decided I'm going to pray through till I get my breakthrough. But hey, little did I know that the breakthrough I was looking for could be in the 11 digits. The phone number of the man that said hi that I just walked right through. The man that I didn't say hi to. Don't blame me because I'm involved in myself. Because you see, sometimes I suffer from the disease called eye-centric. When it's all about me and I do not care what you're going through because everything has to go well for me first, isn't it? So don't blame me because I believe that I can move mountains. I believe that I am a wonder, but have you stopped to wonder that the reason why sometimes we go through the things we're going through is because the word wonder can only make meaning when we are winners. Don't you agree? But you see, that could be the second reason why I'm so messed up because I've been spelling the word winner wrongly. Could it be possible that if I take away the I in winner and put an E and we have winner so we can all be we Nas. Before you point an accusing finger at me for being so eye-centric, I can leap over walls, but we can leap over mountains. I can do so much, and trust me, I am talented. I'm gifted in all ways, but I found out that we can do so much more. I read my Bible the other day, and I saw that there was a man, an I man, who was so sick he couldn't get through the crowd to get to Jesus. But he was smarter than I was because he had friends and those we men didn't break through the way we would. They broke through from the roof, dropped him right to the floor of Jesus. And Jesus didn't stop his ministration for one person. He stopped it for we because the one that was lame was held by his friends even though they all had issues. But can I take you to the cross? The thief to the left and to the right of Jesus. You see, when we become so eccentric like I am, we can get into all manner of things and we miss it. These guys missed it so bad that they robbed, they stole, they killed. And now the eccentric disease sentenced them to death on the cross. 
with the one who had death in his hands. The one to one side said you deserve it. You are earlier than thou, but look at you. The one to the other side said, we deserve it. But this man is a saint. He lived his life for all of us. So he turned to Jesus and said, have mercy on me. And you see, it's funny because the one that testifies, who is the testimony, Jesus speaking now, said today, my testimony for you is that the eyes that got you to where you are, I take it into myself and I will create you anew. And today you and I will be in paradise because after all, the great I am needed we to create us. I'm not going to bore you with any more stories because I, sorry, I said I again. I have so much to say, but I'll look you right in the eye and I'll confess to you that I know that just like me, you are also broken. Well, you see, when you take my brokenness and merge it with the part of you that isn't broken and you take your brokenness and merge it with the part of me that isn't broken, we click and when we click, our music starts from a tap. Then it grows into a sound. Then the sound grows into a symphony. A symphony into an orchestra. An orchestra into a mighty sound that the whole of heaven can sing. Because you will see... No matter how good the songs of the world is, the world is looking for the songs that we sing as the body of Christ. Because the last thing you want to be... The last thing you want to do is be broken and alone. Jesus left us one thing. And that was a broken table. Because on the table we break bread. You take a piece, I take a piece, and then when we do it together, we find out that just like this evening, we are so much better when we are together. Thank you.